Hello, this is Periver from uh, Norway with a new fly time with you. Um, some time ago, I saw Mr. Norm Norlander from the Norwise company made this uh, fantastic uh, extended mayfly bodies. Uh, he used his Norwise to make it, and uh, he used uh, uh, placed a sewing needle in the jaws and just. Uh, uh, spin the dubbing onto the needle uh, with some resin and made this uh, fantastic bodies uh, that way. Now I'm gonna use uh, his uh, wise again. Uh, this is the tube fly conversion, and I have to say I've just uh, unscrewed the tip here and inserted and plain all. Uh, knitting needle my wife owns this needle so I have not uh, been cutting it to length but it's not important uh, I could show you anyway okay here you can see the needle is inserted into the tube fly conversions and to show you the rest I have to move the camera a little bit just to show you how to uh, make the make the body then I have to adjust the camera to make it sharp okay okay then you see there okay think that sharp I have very um, simple equipment to film here so you have to bear, bear with me. Okay. This one. i try to show. This is a silicone tube. I bought from a local uh, car shop. Really. Uh, very cheap. It's transparent silicone inside. And the way to make this uh, body is. I just have to put some silicone onto this uh, onto this knitting needle and take some dubbing and spin the Norwise you see how the dubbings attached attaching to this needle very nice just put on some more to make a compact body the fantastic with this uh, invention here is that uh, the body is, uh, when it's fin finished, uh, it is air filled because the silicone uh, transforms this uh, body like, like a rubber hose, if, if you may say so. Just have on some more now. Okay, you see there, and just put on some silicone on my finger, just to fill it up. You see, the dubbing is now completely covered and soaked with this kind of uh, silicone and then you take your two fingers squeeze and just pull this off and as you see try to show you fantastic body uh, I chosen um, dubbing in a color tan and it's important that you show that you select a uh, dubbing that's long fibered like this one or for example like uh, fly right or something it's not so very important but uh, I think you should uh, choose a dry fly dubbing okay um, I have to show you some um, I made earlier 
uh, see if you can um, look here you can squeeze this it's um, like a rubber hose it's air filled you attach it to the hook like this and so it extends on the back of the hook and when you tie on on the front here the air in the back body is uh, is uh, captured this makes a uh, fantastic caddis body combined with some uh, deer hair like a bullet head or a caddis head or something it makes this fantastic uh, caddis fly uh, I think this um, this uh, solution or this type of tips it's not mine uh, but uh, I've seen it I think the gentleman who's uh, invented this is a, a guy called uh, Roger Duckworth fantastic flies uh, I just uh, use this uh, technique to um, incorporate the Norweiss uh, wise with my own uh, little uh, twist this uh, knitting needle just to add to the diameter of uh, the body you can um, experiment with uh, the regular uh, jaws and have a larger knitting needle like this one just to have to show you here to get up from the chair and you see this is a big one uh, this won't fit into the tube fly conversion but if you uh, cut it and squeeze this um, end here like flatten it with a, um, pliers or something you could uh, probably get it to um, attached to this uh, Norweiss and make it spin like an ordinary hook yes this uh, was my tips uh, tip for the day I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, little tip so uh, when the video comes out uh, please subscribe and uh, give me a note if you're if you like the video or is there some improvement I can make so uh, this is all for now and thank you for all watching bye